Hello developers, in this video tutorial I am going to teach you how to download PDF file from URL using Python. As you can see that I have already published an article about this topic on my blog codingdiction.com. I have also given this article link on the video description. Ok, let's move on to the tutorial. Let me open the Visual Studio code first. It is opened. Now I am going to open the project folder which I have already created for this project called Python. Ok. I just opened the empty folder as you can see that there are uh, no files inside this folder here in any explorer you can see that ok. Now let me create a new file then let me copy and paste the python code this is the python code which is used to uh, download pdf file from url I just copied the code and I pasted it here and I am going to save the file as app.py .py means python extension okay we need to install two libraries for this the first one is uh, requests and the second one is uh, beautiful so uh, soap 4 bs4 okay right we need to install two of these libraries so i'm going to install the first library open the terminal and paste the command and hit enter as you can see that it is showing requirement already satisfied it means i have already installed the library so it is showing like that otherwise it will download the library so you so you need an active internet connection for that okay now let me install the second library as you can see that it is also showing uh, requirement already satisfied so i installed both libraries okay finally uh, let me explain the code First, we import the libraries request and uh, beautiful soap. Okay. After that, uh, I declared a URL to the variable URL. You can see here this is the URL where we need to download PDF file. This is the PDF file URL. After that, uh, we are uh, assigning a new variable response equal to request dot get opening bracket URL. So we will get the URL using the URL variable. After that. We pass the text update using the soap equal soap equal to boot your soap uh, response dot text comma html dot parser. Okay. Finally, if you are finding all the hyperlinks present on the web page using uh, links variable equal to soap dot find underscore all opening bracket uh, single quotation a. Now uh, we are using a loop for the first we assign the variable i equal to zero to uh, count all the links for link in links if dot pdf in link dot get href okay if uh, dot pdf link find then we will get the link i equal to i plus 1 we are using a shortcut i plus c i plus r equal to 1 okay finally print uh, we are downloading file comma i we will get the response using uh, response variable equal to the request dot get link dot get href we are uh, write content in the pdf file using pdf variable pdf equal to open pdf uh, plus string of i plus double quotation dot pdf comma wb uh, then that's it we are closing the pdf finally uh, we are printing the file this downloaded finally print all pdf files are downloaded okay let me run this project i open the new terminal i type to python space app dot py when i hit enter it will take couple of minutes because we need to download the files right now it is showing all pdf files downloaded so it means the pdf file is downloaded successfully sorry let me close this i don't know how to close that okay guys let me show you whether the PDF file is downloaded or not. It is not present inside the project folder, but it is uh, downloaded somewhere else. Let me show it. Actually, guys, I did a mistake because uh, we don't need to uh, give the direct link of the PDF file. Okay, I give the direct uh, download link of the PDF file, so it is uh, not downloaded. So let me uh, use this uh, various URL, any other URL. You can see that in this website smallpdf.com you can find that download pdf download sample pdf button is there it means there is a link with the pdf file right 
So I'm going to use this link. Uh, you can see that there are two PDF files. So I'm going to use this link. I just replace the link here and I saved the file. Now let me run this project. When I run the project, you can see that downloading file one, file one downloaded, downloading file two, uh, file two downloaded, all PDF files downloaded. You can see that in the explorer, there are two PDF files. Let me show you in the project folder too. Two PDF files are successfully downloaded. So it will work on that way only, okay. If you have any doubts about this video tutorial, then please leave a comment, I will help you. If you want to receive more videos about Python, then don't forget to subscribe this channel.